Teens in AI exists to democratize access to AI technologies and data science. We launched in, in 2018 at the United Nations AI for Good Global Summit. Since then, we've had over 5,000 uh, young people across the world complete this program. We were very excited when we started our uh, discussions and conversations with DARE, intern and various other stakeholders who really have believed in the vision, which is to really engage as many young people as we possibly can in Brunei uh, to understand what technology like AI can do for their own country. We are now launching in uh, Southeast Asia and the first country where we're launching this is here, Brunei. As DARE aims to build a sustainable, collaborative startup ecosystem that supports innovation and growth as part of Brunei's Industry 4.0 initiatives, we thought a great step towards making this happen is to utilize and develop digital skills and leadership in Brunei's youth. Teens in AI will run in three phases. This hackathon is only the beginning. The next phase to come is the cross-school hackathon that next year to include 500 students from schools all over Brunei. The program will culminate in the final phase of the program, the final hackathon, where the top 20 teams from this cross-school hackathon will compete, finding innovative solutions to local problems linked to the United Nations Sustainable Development Goals. By the end of the program, we aim to train and scale more than 500 teens aged 12 to 18 and more than 50 teachers from private and public secondary schools, as well as about 100 mentors comprising of local startups, corporate employees, as well as unemployed IT graduates. Teens in AI Brunei runs across eight days over Zoom and Discord. This is a virtual online hackathon that we organized alongside Acorn Aspiration. We have 10 teams coming from 10 different schools coming together for this Teens in AI hackathon. These students are made up of such diverse skill sets. So we have the hipster who are the designers, we have the hacker who are the coders, we have the hustlers who are the project manager and research lead. So all of this are crucial element for a successful teamwork. To help them achieve this, we have mentors who are driven and passionate to help them. They've shared very insightful use cases of AI that are useful for the students to build the solutions around. The reason I decided to join this program is because I've always wanted to learn about programming and computing and coding. And I've always liked to solve problems. From the day this program started, I learned many things that really opened up a new perspective for me in AI. So that's why this is something new and extraordinary for me and I hope that I will use it and cherish it and will try to improve it and master it in the near future. Yes. It's a bonus for us to learn AI because uh, this opportunity doesn't come too often and we don't usually learn IT at school. Before I joined this program, I started to learn and adapt in the field of media editing and photography that I learned by myself and has made me more interested in technologies and AI. After I joined this program, I realized that this program had increased my knowledge on text, AIs, and I realized that it also can enhance the way I think and view the world and improve my perspective by not only see the way I view the world but the way others did too. I want to see if there is a solution that can help people out there and the AI should can also help you in your daily lives. I hope that I could solve the problem about mental health issues which is increasing throughout this new era and the way we want to solve it is using like an app which is run by an AI. And this AI will be like a supporter for the user if they are having like rough time or some mental breakdown. So this AI will to help them throughout the situation. I joined it because first of all, I'd like to gain more experience actually doing hackathons and like team management projects because it can help me for the future. I knew how to program in Python, Java, and VB.net, and a bit of C-sharp. And I, you know, I did two coding competitions. We're trying to solve the problem of um, financial literacy. So the aspect of our financial literacy that we're looking at how people can budget their money properly. 
And so that, that's what our uh, team is focusing on. Us. It will be involved in decision-making programs as well. The head of computing came up to me and asked if I wanted to do the hackathon. I realized that was a great like stepping stone for me to get out my comfort zone. What we're trying to tackle, which is mental health and well-being. I really hope I can come out with some like good basic coding knowledge. Yeah. As a teacher, I learn a lot from the mentors and also from the student. We need to encourage the student to use open-ended question. At the same time, they need to think critically. For myself also, I've learned about the design and thinking skills so that I can, in the future, improvise my teaching to make the activity more attractive and fun. When I participated in the teacher's training, I was so surprised with all those mentors like teaching like about design thinking and then Python. We can see like all the students doing their best. They can come up with all the solutions and they can think like beyond what we actually think of the students. It's a really good call to get all the millennials to teach the upcoming Gen Z's. So I think as a mentor, um, I think we were in the in-between generation. We were sort of a hybrid between the old and but the new generation. This is our part, one of our parts in trying to realize what our Wawasan, the 2035 Wawasan, you know, Industrial Revolution 4.0. So this initiative is as a Brunei youth also brings a lot of meaning. Right? which is automation, you know, AI, data analytics. This also answered the calls to our own digital roadmap as a country. Our sponsors Brunei Shell Petroleum, Baiduri Bank, Brunei Shell Marketing and Dynamic Technologies and our partners AITI, Step Center at the Ministry of Education and Jodong International School have been instrumental in making this program happen. More than monetary, their support comes in the form of providing mentors who have been great with helping their teams develop their ideas, sharing their knowledge through talks, coordinating students and teachers to join the program, and taking care of participants throughout the whole hackathon. This bridge connecting startups, corporations, and government agencies with these young, bright minds opens up many possibilities that complements and enhances their education.